Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Humble Beginnings Homestead. Today, we are prepping for pigs. Hanging out in the barn today. Uh, work has slowed down. Winter's here. I've been doing a lot of uh, trying to get a lot of projects done around the, the homestead while it's slow. Last couple days we've been out in the barn prepping for pigs. So I've took two stalls here, uh, or yeah, took two stalls, made it into one. Just got a gate hung. Built this, built this wall here, and we're hoping that this is gonna be where our baby pigs go. self-sufficiency we want to be as self-sufficient as we possibly can uh, rely less on convenience stores and the modern world and more on ourselves part of being self-sufficient is obviously providing your own food something that we've never done before on the homestead is raise animals for food so this year 2020 our biggest focus is going to be locking down the meat we are looking at getting into meat birds now we've had laying hens in the past unfortunately we don't have laying hens now as soon as we moved to the new property um, something had got to our chickens and wiped us out so for the winter we're just kind of just kind of hanging out and, and really just just doing a lot of prepping um, so that we can avoid casualties in the future but we are looking at getting laying hens this year we are looking at getting uh, meat birds and then i think that we're going to start off with a couple hogs and see where we go from there and then every year add a little bit more meat to the to the farm and and uh and start becoming more independent
all I've got left to do is to build a wall from this post to this post to keep them in and uh, we're finished up we got us a pig pen so I got a couple I got some pieces of uh, red oak barn lumber that uh, I salvaged whenever I took apart this stall here so we're gonna run about four boards from this this to this and and, and we'll have a nice enclosed pin <laughs> I've really looked into um, pasturing pigs on rotation, so hopefully we can get, you know, f four or five different uh, little fenced-in areas or little plots to go so that we can rotate those pigs so they don't tear the fields up too bad. But that's our intention is to uh, um, put them out here on this pasture so that they can... Um, so they can graze and feed off the grass. We intend on probably using two or three lines of electric uh, wire and fencing off portions of this field so that we can pasture our pigs. ourselves a pig pen. Tell me what you guys think about this homestead project. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to keep up with what's going on in the homestead, it's growing a little bit every day. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Also hit that little bell too. That's going to notify you guys every time we upload a new video so that you guys can keep up with the progress here on the homestead. Leave a comment. Any advice of you other homesteaders out there that's got pigs already. This is going to be our first time with pigs. 
pigs. So go ahead and go ahead and give us some helpful information. We're soaking it all up. We're taking it all in, and we're going to use every single bit of advice that we can. And go ahead and share that video if you think it will help somebody else out in the future. Again, this is Jason with the Humble Beginnings Homestead. Thanks for watching.